So the first real job on the Land Rover is to sort the chassis out. Uh, and this project starts where most of these projects starts with the Haynes manual. Um, so in the chassis section of the Haynes manual, there is a drawing showing the key setup dimensions. So if you can have a look there, we have um, K, L, M, A. Uh, those are all dimensions that I want to set the chassis up. Um, you can see uh, there are very few flat datum points on here. Uh, on the right hand side you can see that, that point C that bit's flat on the top there uh, and that lines up with the top there at, eight, uh, at the sort of section A um, so that's what we'll be setting things up to so the Landy basically just sits on my drive it's just a sort of block paid drive and so obviously it's not flat so the first job is to make sure the Landy chassis is sitting flat so you can then use the spirit level to make sure that uh, the new stuff we put on the front is also in line. Um, so there aren't a huge number of datums on here. So the first you can see is that decent bit of chassis there at the top of this. This hasn't been fiddled with in the past so I know it's straight. Uh, and we've got that set up fairly accurately. It's probably as accurate as it needs to be. Now I've done that uh, by using um, jack stands and tapered wedges on three of the corners and then just a jack stand on the other so that's one of the corners if I come over here that's the other corner from the other end of the chassis we have that corner that's got a tapered wedge uh, and that corner is just sitting on the, uh, the axle stand um, so the other two datums then are this flat bit of the chassis which I've set up, uh, that flat bit of the chassis and that rear cross member um, this rear part of the chassis is uh, new uh, but I've got to trust that it's been put on fairly straight and it seems to be okay, certainly a lot better than the, uh, the dumb irons on the front so just to uh, show you the issue here that's what the, uh, the level looks like when it's on the two dumb irons on the front. Right, so I've cut the uh, front dumb irons off and the cross member. Um, have a quick look in there, just hoovered it with the, uh, the giant Henry down there. You can't really see down there, but it generally looks okay, apart from this first bit you can see the various repairs that have been made in the past um, the same is true for this side see the various bits and pieces that have been welded in there in the past so this is a section I cut out you can see in there all the patches of the past and the the old rusty material that was in there. So it's a good job that's off. See it's starting to rot through at the bottom there. Uh, I'm also taking the supports off the bulkhead uh, and it's on, in this case uh, the steering box as well. I've got to take these off anyway because I've got to get the steering box off but it also means I can get access to that little bit of chassis. Uh, and underneath the support just to make sure there's no corrosion in there and also uh, later on into that area of the bulkhead uh, just to make sure I can clean that up and repaint that so I've cut the side pieces out for the uh, extension uh, and now I need to cut out the top and bottom pieces so I'm set up for welding the first uh, piece of the chassis on got a bit of aluminium bar just to keep it straight We've got the shims in um, and attack the four corners. This is the old trusty MIG. This is the old bit of, well, part of the old bit of chassis that I cut out, uh, and this little uh, stiffener uh, mounts the bump stop on it. Um, I was going to rescue this and re weld it on, but I've had a look at it and it's just sort of past rescuing, really. So I've uh, I've made four more uh, of these 
Um, and uh, as you can see, it's a reasonably, reasonably similar match to what was there. Um, so I'll weld these on instead of uh, using that that old one. So I've positioned the, the new member in place. Uh, these parts are fully welded but still tacked here. Um, I had to pull them in because there's quite a lot of uh, splay on them. So I'm hoping I'll weld that inside first and I'll pull them in. Um, so I've checked all the dimensions and it all works fine. So next job is to take the paint off here and tack these up and then fully weld it all up. Uh, once I've got some more gas for the welder. So I welded the extensions on. You can see I put a uh, strengthening plate on the top, just over the joint, uh, and I've combined the bump stop support with a, an extra strengthening plate to carry on there. Uh, so the normal support would be that. But I've extended it another kind of 80 mil back to cover up the, the joint just to stiffen it up. Um, so that's all welded up. So the next job is putting in the uh, supports for the bump stop. So on this side you can see the bump stops that I've made just uh, lined up the bump stop in place at the bottom just as a bit of a jig so I'm going to weld those on now. So I welded on the bump stop su supports and uh, stuck a bit of red oxide down the tubes. I also sprayed a bit of um, wax oil down there. Hopefully that will prolong the life a little bit. So the next job is to uh, put the final part of the chassis on. The um, replacement dumb irons and cross member. So it's all ready for tacking now. So I've uh, checked alignment uh, for the two dumb irons. I've checked alignment for that cross member. Uh, I've also checked the whole centre to uh, centre distance, um, so they're within about plus or minus one mil. This is okay, I can't get it much better than this, uh, if you can see that, yeah, and that's that's pretty good there. So I think we're all ready to tack up. Right, all the welding is finished, and I've just dressed up the welds, make it look a bit nicer, and it's got a coat of paint on it. So, uh, job done for that stage. So I've finished all the welding on the Land Rover, or at least on the chassis. Um, I've added these little um, brake line mounts. I've uh, refitted on the, the battery support uh, and I've given it all a, a coat of red oxide. So now it's time to finish the job off with a coat of chassis black. Right, the chassis has been painted, or nearly painted at least, uh, with one coat of, of chassis black. Uh, Still a little bit of painting to do, it needs a second coat. Um, while I was wire wheeling some of it though, I spotted another another problem. So if we look under here, we can see there's a big hole there. That's because uh, I spotted some more damage to the chassis. So I've cut that out, ready to repair that. Uh, I'm not going to cover that in this episode, just to pick the patch over. But, um, I'll have to resolve that before I move on to any other bits of the bits of the project.